Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is a Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderfully. Got up this morning. I went to bed. I was really tired yesterday. Yesterday was a long, tiring day. Hold on one second. Nixie was faking me out. She's standing at the door like she wanted to go out, but she didn't. <laughs> she's like, no, I'm going to go over here and crawl into my bed. I was in my bedroom filming and then she said, oh my God, I'm going to join you. So anyway, so yesterday was good. We went to sleep. We had a the night before I didn't get much rest and then yesterday was you know one of those long days but it was a good long day and then we were in bed by 7 30 we're watching um the movie the case for christ with uh, for i think it's lee, it's lee strobel the book the case for christ very good i started watching the other night um instead of you know staying off social <laughs> i do social media but staying off social media stop scrolling on your phone i know all those things that you're told to do it really does help to not do that all the time so for myself it's like, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna watch? And so I started watching. Uh, we have a lot of DVDs, a lot of DVDs. Life and busyness with kids, and we don't get much time to do movies. So we started sitting and watching movies down here. We put the DVD out of here, so that's been watching. And we watched um, God's Not Dead the other, on the weekend. And so then I had, there was a lot of previews in the beginning. And I started watching, I'm like, wow, those are really good. So I screenshotted them, so I remember to look them up to see if we can watch them elsewhere. And so a lot of them were on YouTube. So I'm like, hmm. So we started watching The Case for Christ a couple days ago. So we get about, I don't know, a half hour and then it's time for bed. So we watched, this is the second night of watching it still. Great movie, great movie. And then now we still have an ending and I'm like, it's such a good movie. I'm like, I can't wait to watch the rest. But anyways, watch that. Went to sleep, slept pretty much all night. Maxine actually woke up in the middle of the night and she like stood at the end of the bed and she like grunted. And I'm like, that was weird. And I woke up. So I brought her out here. She got a big drink of water and then she wanted to go to the bathroom outside. So I'm like, it poured rain yesterday. It was one of those rainy days. So the dog doesn't go outside when it's raining you know how that is and so you anticipate her going in the house which is horrible but you just knew she was going to eventually because she wouldn't go out in the rain who wants to <laughs> so i was really glad so that was like 12 30 and i was like oh i can't be awake at 12 30 and then um went back to bed and lay there for a little, little bit and put a, a video on and fell asleep to it and then um, woke up this morning about 6 30 and i'm like okay i feel rested and feel good and then um got my shower got ready and then i took maxine for a walk this morning because it was a little bit cooler but it's dry out so we did that this morning already and then came back and i filmed a bunch of bibles so i'm like okay it's a good wednesday already start to my day i'm like i've got a list of things to do having like a plan of what i have to do for the day helps out hugely so what i'm going to do today my focus this wednesday is our running later on day because the kids have a group that they go to greg and i split the duties and he takes two of them and does running i take three of them and do running and so it's just how we do it so usually by the afternoon about 3 30 4 o'clock or well today is gonna be about three o'clock i gotta be finished with everything i need to do for the day i think i can do that <laughs> so we're gonna just start our day he's ready for a great day we're gonna have a great day all right first thing i usually say oh, let's go and i start another clip but we're just gonna start right here dinner yesterday was really good we did the mac and cheese and all that with the guamkies plenty of guamkies left over plenty of mac and cheese left over i was like definitely made too much that's okay but I was thinking, should we have it for tonight? And I thought, well, instead of doing that, I think I'll save that for lunches and they can have it for lunches. So for breakfast today is gonna to be yogurt because I have all that strawberry sauce still in the refrigerator and I have that yogurt. So they can have that and then they can have um, mac and cheese for lunch because there's plenty of that in there. And then for dinner, I'm gonna do burrito bowls. Burrito bowls work really well because it's one of those things we can take and pack in the car if we want to. And it's just something like easy. It's easy, everybody likes it. It's a simple, meal and so i get the lemon broil and i just cut it up i didn't even cut it up into little pieces <laughs> usually i do and i realize it doesn't really matter if you do or not so next time i probably won't cut it up i've left it in a big chunk i love my slow cooker to cook it this is what i do i put it in here i'm going to put some spices in there and just turn it on and let it cook for four hours and then cook some rice put some beans easy lettuce on it we'll have little burrito bowls tonight for dinner it'll be very simple I just like doing this uh, pressure cooker would work and make it faster, but I really don't mind this. The slow cooker works amazing and it, I think it works a little bit better. I had to go between because I had slow cookers forever and then I got the, the pressure cookers because that's what everybody had at Instapots and that was great. And then I'm like, I love it. It's great. But I'm like, I, I after the, the seals were worn and I need to get new ones, I'm like, you know what? I really do just like this. It's a little slower but it works. If you prepare, it's good to go. So now I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to go work on some other things while this cooks. So let me get my spices to add to this. You know what my spice is going to be? It's going to be Old Bay. <laughs> it's going to be Old Bay because Old Bay is really good. It's got a little bit of, it's, you know, I don't know, it's Cajun. I don't even know what's in a Cajun. It reminds me of a taco -y mixture. So I feel like that would be a really good thing. I'm going to put some water in here. Put some water in the bottom. There we go. That's it. Put that lid on and let's 
cook with a dinner is gonna cook away while I focus on something else for the day. So we're back to doing our deep cleaning. You know, I've been trying to focus on different rooms of the house. So what I got yesterday, my delivery guy delivered, is my shoe rack shelf for the front door. We got the one with the mirror on it, and I liked that, but it was just too big. I saw it actually at At Home, and um, we got it, and it came, and I was like, ugh, I don't know if I love that there. But I knew that I could use it in multiple places, and so the girls actually have it in the room, and it looks amazing in the room. So I found the what I wanted for the front door. So last night I put it together right here. This is one of those pieces that I was like, okay, it looked like it had a million steps to it. And I thought, is this gonna be crazy? Is this gonna take forever? But it really didn't. The kids, they were sitting there watching Little House in the Prairie and we were just sitting there and I just sat down and screwed it all in. I was just working away, getting it put together. These things are like, easy to put together sometimes sometimes you have a little bit of struggle and then i even got to one point where it was you have to put those little round things in you know like i don't even know what they're called the little cap things and then on the bottom has got the like the screw that goes into it and then you tighten the little bolt cam bolts that's what they're called and i was like oh my goodness they don't fit i'm like did they not screw the hole big enough so i stopped and i went out in the garage and looked and i looked to see if we have other ones and i'm like they don't fit and i'm like what am I going to, I'm like, why would they not make the holes big enough? And then I realized, oh, there was a different size. And so I was like, thank goodness. But I like, I had to think about this furniture. I'm like, they make this go together and it's so sturdy. I think of like back in the day, like when I was first married, which would have been like, you know, 20, 25 plus years ago, having like our TV stand and that thing was so wobbly or even the bookshelves. Do anybody remember you would staple the wood on the backs and those things would just wobble to death and you were just hopeful that you got it good enough so now i love the way they do these because they put extra the dowels in there and the cam bolts and then i love the back pieces that they put on there is these little triangle pieces I've, on all of my furniture like that it's amazing it literally pushes into the corners to hold it on i'm like someone got smart with that so i thought that was genius so i put this together it was so simple to go together it was probably one of the easiest pieces of furniture i've got to put together since moving here so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying going through. It's like making the home my home. You know, it's like we moved in and life was just so busy. It was just moving and getting used to Florida and life here and, you know, a lot going on this year. It was just a busy year. And so, and I didn't even think about decorating. I'd go to the store and walk around and like, I don't even know what I want in this house and just not having the thoughts. And I'm glad I didn't buy anything. I'm glad I didn't in the beginning. And so Christmas is when I started, when I started going and buying things and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do this and that. And so then afterwards, when Greg and I went, I'm like, okay, I got the good visions, the good thoughts of how I want things to look. And I'm like, I'm excited. I'm excited to continue to add things. And as little pieces of furniture come here and there, I'm like, I love doing that because it makes it more cozy and more homey. The only, the only difference is, let me tell you the difference is, you just have more cleaning to do. I think of it like <laughs> when we didn't have anything in here, the cleaning was really quick. Like the house stayed clean. There was really nothing to pick up. But now I'm like, okay, now that I have more stuff, it's more cleaning to do and it, it, no big deal, but it does take more cleaning in your home. So I was really happy with this great thing to put together. I am going to be happy. This is going to go by our front door and I've got a bench coming for the other side. I just didn't know exactly what I wanted to have there, but I just ordered it. So hopefully this next week it'll be here. And then this is going to hold like extra shoes or whatever, throw the gloves in there, put the dog leash in here. You know, everybody keeps their shoes at the door. So it'll now be like, Hey, put your shoes in the shoe rack thing. And I love that it has adjustable shelves so that um, you can take them out, put boots in here, but we don't have boots because you know, it's in Florida. It's everybody's wearing flip flops. And most of them are sandals. So it's going to be great having this over here. Then I'm just gonna slide it over here and put it right here. I was afraid it was gonna be too tall and I'm like, am I gonna have to put the mirror up higher? But then as I put it in, I was like, oh, perfect, I do not. So I was super happy with this piece right here. I'm like, this to me looks good. So I'm happy with it. I'll be able to put some of the decor in my bedroom on it. Remember, I saved some of that stuff to stick on there. So another place to be able to decorate. Okay, so I think decorating with what I have here is going to go in here. It's so funny. Like, we were so not going to do the beachy theme. But you got to do the beachy theme in Florida. I feel like everything is beachy because that's our life here. So I think this is good. I'm more of a, like, some people are more of, like, put it separately. Like, put the circle on the right, the shells in the middle, and the other circle on the left, making it very even. But I feel like 
offsetting it is good. So this is going to sit here and then I'm looking at the, and then I'm going to add a couple of the starfish because I have this whole bag of starfish. What am I going to do with these starfish? It kind of goes with Florida theme. So those I think are going to be good on here. And then on the bottom, I'm thinking like just a wicker basket. Maybe I can find like a rectangle one, like at home goods or whatever, to be able to put keys and stuff in. I feel like Greg's going to come in and stick his keys there and that will be a good place to put everything. So I'm thinking that will be good for there. So now I'm like, this is good. I love this. I think this looks great. I really wasn't sure about the wood because it's a little bit darker in the living room, but here I like it. And there's so much space inside the shelf, so much space. This will be a nice holder for things. I might end up even taking some of the shelves out and putting like maybe even our beach bag in here. I keep it in my closet for now or, you know, we'll see just to be able to grab it take it out but I don't know it might just get filled up with shoes I'm going to see how well the kids put their shoes in the cabinet and my, me myself too because mine are sitting on the floor here too so I'm guilty of that as well but I really like this I really like this look here very happy with the way it turned out It's like a whole bag full of starfish. What am I going to do with these? So I'm just going to put them into our shell bin. I feel like this thing is just going to get filled more and more. I feel like that's going to work. It's funny, this whole bag. I think this was like $20. I feel like those would have been good gift toppers. I'm sure people do that, right? Like if you give gifts to other people, like tying a starfish on there with some twine. That would probably be very beachy looking, you know. Mine, I'm just wrapping a regular paper because I know my kids are going to tear it apart. So this is good. I feel like, okay, like my, the decorating that I have is done except for those one blue pictures that I don't have a place for. So we'll find a place eventually for all of that. So what I'm going to do now is start on my stairs. A part of my deep cleaning is um, I've worked downstairs. I think I've got everything done downstairs except the one bathroom, but I didn't really, there's not, I mean, it's, it's not even dirty because there's nothing in there. <laughs> so that, that just gets cleaned daily. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm going to deep clean the stairs, use my carpet cleaner on there and get all the yuck off the stairs. So that is my goal right now. I'm going to wipe the handrails, clean that area. So that is my next focus. And before I start, I'm going to do a quick wipe of the kitchen because I never did it. It's pretty clean from yesterday. We did a really good job cleaning up, but there's just a little bit to wipe up. Just quick wiping up the counters, getting everything wiped off real good. I just went all the way around the kitchen and then clean up over here by the coffee bar, cleaning everything up, putting some of the bread away because I have two loaves and I know it'll go past the date where it's good. So I put one of each kind in the freezer. And again, this is just sitting over here. I don't even know what to put this in. Any suggestions? I don't know about a bin over there or what. I'm just not sure quite how to do that. And then just picking up, taking my vitamins and getting everything done. The kitchen is clean. Now I can continue on with the rest of my stuff. I also made a list on the refrigerator for the kids for chores so that they, things that pop in my head for them to do. I'm gonna go grab the carpet cleaner and bring that out so I can um, fill it up with uh, cleaner and water. And then I'm gonna start the vacuums down here so it can clean while I'm doing the stairs.
Okay, I did the stairs, got all that clean. It's probably the dirtiest flooring in the house because it just gets vacuumed, but dirt gets in those fibers. I don't know, I'm sure it would be dangerous to have um, like a different kind of stairs, like tile or wood, right? Because obviously it would slip coming down. Hmm, they probably have something, but for now, this will, it, it works and it is good, but we just clean, it's gotta clean on a more regular basis. That's all, I just didn't have the carpet cleaner. So that's clean, and then, um, my work that I want to do is kind of done. I want to do stuff upstairs today, but I'm going to do that after we do our school. So I've got the vacuum rolling. So what I'm going to do now is just wipe the handrail going all the way up. One of the job, I also give kids, I don't film my kids cleaning, but they will come by and clean like the baseboards all the way up the stairs, like all the white going up because there's a lot of dings and marks and stuff. I'll have them clean that today. I'll just wipe the handrail going up. I'm going to clean that. Be done for my work today. We're going to sit and do our reading and we're going to do up our school group time and possibly get a walk in, we'll see, and then I'll come back and do um, my upstairs stuff. I wanna, I gotta hang pictures up up there in my office and move on to Jensen's room, put a few things away in my office and hopefully get that floor cleaned and finally mopped. made it upstairs we did all of our reading we got our schooling done and then the kids are having lunch right now and then I decided to keep working because I know my day gets a little bit busy today so I wanted to I've caught all the stuff downstairs done which is great we got all the stairs cleaned got that whole front area done everything's picked up stuff's done dinners I threw some rice and cooked that I didn't show that but I didn't do that when we we're doing school and so then my other goal was to get upstairs here I love to vacuum the floor up here we'll go with the vacuum all the floors are here the main room and the living room did I do that? I did do that. I was like, did I do that? I did do that. And then the boys' room. And then I would like to use the um, steam mop up here and clean the floors with the steam mop because I haven't done that up here at all yet. So this is good. I wanted to get this right here. This I'm going to hang up in Jensen's room. He said he wants this. I don't really have a need for it. It's good, but I have found that, like, my calendar, I like my planner. And that's it. Like, I'm happy with that. It works. So I'm kind of like, no sense, like, worrying about getting something else because, like, it's just an extra thing to have. <laughs> and so everybody else had asked every kid and nobody wanted to use it, but Jensen said he did. So that's good. So I do want to hang my picture over there. This is um, one we got from the Billy Graham Center. When Greg and I went there um, to see Colton Dixon, it was, that was a great place. If you can go to the Billy Graham Center, go there. This is what I put on my beginning of my channel before I changed my intro um, to the beachy one. And so this, I walked in there and I was like, oh my goodness, that is what I have for my thing. So I had to get it. So I had it up a little bit higher. I just need to bring it down a little bit. Again, we got lots of holes in the wall and I'm okay with that. <laughs> we are gonna paint, I'm gonna paint in here. We're gonna paint the whole house. This is my trial and error phase. This is the time that I can make holes in the wall and it's all gonna be fixed. So it doesn't really matter because Greg's not gonna know if they came from me or if they're from the previous owner. <laughs> Even today, I moved the clock. We had that little clock above the door. And every time you look, I have to keep turning it. It's so far away. And Brooklyn even looks like, where's the clock? And I said, I know I need to put it like in the middle for functionality, even though it probably, I moved it. It probably wasn't where everybody would put it, but functional wise, it worked best. So I'm like, that's better for me. So we have holes. Holes are fine. They're gonna all get fixed. So I'm gonna put this up in the wall and just move those, move those down. And then I'll have this over there. I'd love to get one of those beach pictures for over here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do up here yet. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like, I have this big empty room. I'm not sure, Greg has his whole zone over here right now. We got we got stuff going on right here. <laughs> we got stuff going on right here. This is all gonna go downstairs into um, the garage. He's gonna make a little area down there for working in that. So that's gonna leave me empty in here. So I don't know, Jane's like, mom, I could create you a set in here. I'm like, hmm, so it might be a nice place to sit and do my Bible, which I'm excited for. But we gotta get that out of here. So that would be nice to have a nice little area over there for filming, which would be great. But for now, it's just kind of like the extra room. And I, I don't mind having an extra room, so let's hang this over there. Get yourself a stable stool when you're doing that, but I was careful, so now it's much lower. So I just eyeballed it. We're gonna, if I'm gonna move it again, I can. Like, to me, that looks straight. Let me go get my um, level.
The beautiful thing is it's off like just a hair, like the line, it's more like the bubble is more like just over here by the black side. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna leave that there. That for me is good. So that's what I'm gonna, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna hang here for now. I put my two little ornaments in my window, but it's kind of hard to see because it wants to show you the big giant right outside. I got my little nice ornaments there. And I think that's it for in here. So next is just cleaning up. I just have a few things to pick up in here, like quartz. <laughs> that's it. These were just extra from um, when we have we been cleaning other things in the home. So extra quartz, I just keep in here for now. This is full now. <laughs> it, was, it was rough when we moved here, then I got real empty. It's one of those, like, I don't really know if to put the extra quartz, so I'm keeping it in this drawer. So that works for now. I'm gonna pick this up and then just wipe and run the vacuum in here. Now we have a big empty wall here. I just screwed that into Jensen's room, which is good. So now he's got all his stuff there. Like I said, I'm thinking big ocean picture. One day, that was just a lot of money for that picture, but in the future. These are my Christmas. I don't know how these ended up in here, so I'm gonna go put these in the Christmas box. Okay, we were able to put all of our Christmas decor in here, so I'm just gonna put this in here. They have these, I don't know who does this, the kids do this. Child lock. Perfect. For now, that works in there. I'm like, we have um, we our TV stand, our new TV stand came, so I'm excited to put that up. But um, you know, that'll come in here eventually. So this floor is dead. I'm just gonna mop in here with that steam mop, and then my office. I'm just gonna wipe off a few things, and then let's vacuum in there. Alright, what a great afternoon. I have been busy. I haven't shown everything. I was in the boys' room and the boys, we were deep cleaning the room. We had to like move some rugs. We hung the calendar on the wall. We steamed up their floor, vacuumed and organized and went through and did all that. That was a lot of work. So now tomorrow, um, I wrote down for the kids to do more deep cleaning in the room, like wiping everything down with the Norix cloth cleaning, cleaning the windows, and then washing all their bedding. That'll be a job for them to do tomorrow. But we got the most of it done, and the girls have a little bit of organizing to do, so we're gonna get that done up there. But I got, and then in the big room, I just took out, we have the green and we have a yellow round chair in there. And it's kind of, um, it's a little smushed but it works for seating because we have so many people to sit. So I took the yellow one out and just slid it in my office and put it in front of my desk. And I'm like, that'll work for a seat in there. And if we need it, we can just slide it into the living room, which will be a good thing. And so that's it up there. I'm done. I'm like, I got what I wanted to get done today. And that was mainly the stairs and upstairs and getting that done. So then I have a list now going for tomorrow. And so right now it's about 2.15. We have to leave in about one hour today. So I'm going to try to get the little bit that I have to get done here. And that's just scoop out dinner. So <laughs> we make our little burrito bowls. All I do is I'm gonna take rice. I'm gonna chop up my um, beef here. That came out of the, the slow cooker. I'm gonna cut it up and divide it among these kind of bowls because this works. And today I'm just pouring in mixed chili beans in the side, that's it. Because they like it, it's easy. Instead of worrying about mixing a bunch of kinds together, I have enough of these. And then um, I've got five glass ones and then I just, I didn't have six because we're using them. So I have a regular bowl. I put mine in there. Greg's gonna have guamkeys tonight. And then for on top of this, they'll put lettuce. 
loaded cheese, and we have salsa, we have some onion chopped and tomato and queso and put on, and that's it. That's easy dinner. This is a great meal to make right now because everybody's in and out the door like the next couple hours. I'm gone with a few, Greg will have a few. So it just works for everybody to eat without anybody going, what's for dinner? It'll all be made up right now. So my day is gonna be finished for the day as far as filming. What I'm gonna do now is about 2.20. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go take all this footage off here. The kids, I'm gonna take them, we're gonna go for a walk. It takes about a half hour when we go. So we're gonna go for about a half hour walk, come back, and then we're gonna be packing up and we're gonna be heading out. So I get to go work for a few hours and get some stuff done, a lot of video editing done uninterrupted, which is nice. And then um, the other kids will go do their activities. The other kids will do their activities. Everybody will go a different direction. And instead, we'll come home, we'll have the burrito in a bowl. So I hope you enjoyed today's motivation, getting stuff done. <sighs> We're getting stuff done in our house, are we not? <laughs> we are. It's getting busy and doing great. So you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Okay, come back tomorrow. Bye.